Hi, Alex here from Rebeller.com and welcome back to the second day of our iOS tutorials advent calendar. And in this episode, I am going to show you how you can determine our device's type. So, is it an iPhone 10 or is it an iPad Pro or all the other device types? So, why do we need this? Well, it is because we are going to create a main menu SK scene and that will need a size property. So, we need to have our size, first of all. Now, second, we might encounter some things in our SK scenes uh, like putting up, let's say, bottom panels or top panels. So we need uh, to know whether we are in an iPhone 10 environment or other environments, so we could be easily getting our device types. So on iPhone 10, maybe we want to put it a little slightly higher, our bottom panel, so we don't get messed up with this new home button. Okay, now, what we need to do first is to push our first day's branch, because I forgot it yesterday, we need to put it up on GitHub. So, let's go to source control and let's commit. Okay, created a branch for day one and let's commit these three files and push them up. Let's wait for that and it is okay. Now let's create a new branch for day two. Okay, and I will create it, of course, from our uh, branch day one. Okay, and it will be day two. Let's create this and let's check out this branch now. Okay, let's check it out. Oh, sorry. Are we in day two? Let's check out day two. Yeah. It probably automatically did set it to current. Okay, and now you know how you can check out branches. Okay, now let's go back to our project and let's create a new file and we will create an extension and we will add our code here. So first of all, we need to check if uh, we are on an iPhone environment or an iPad environment. So to uh, delimit between these two, we will create a simple enum. It will be UI user interface idiom. It will be an int. And we will have undefined case phone and then case pad. Okay, good stuff. Next up, we need to fetch our screen sizes. So for that, I will create a struct. Okay, it will be screen size. And here I will create a static LED and that is the width. And we will use our UI screen dot main dot bounds and size dot width. This is how we get our screens width. Now we need to create a static LED for our height too. The same way, UI screen dot main dot bounds dot size dot height. Now, the way we are going to find out which type of uh, device we are using is through letting uh, the program know how the height, how much the height is. So, because we can rotate our devices, we need to calculate our max height. So that is how we create our next static let, and that is max, and that is maximum of our screen size dot width and our screen size dot height. Okay, and while we are here, let's create our minimum height. 
We will not use this in our example, but you never know when you need it. Screen size dot height. Okay, next up is to finally determine our device types. So I will create another struct here. And here I will create a static, again, LED. And is iPhone 4 or less? Okay, now we need to construct this. Is this an iPhone 4 or less? So let's select UI device and our current device and our user interface ID. And is it a phone? Okay. If it is a phone and we uh, the screen size dot max height. Now it is smaller than and this is a number and I have created a cheat sheet here for myself. If it is smaller than 568 points, then it is an iPhone phone or less. Now, next up is to build the whole thing up for our other iPhones. Static let is iPhone 5 equals UI device user interface idiom equals to phone and the screen size max height is larger or equals to 568. Okay, that is for the iPhone 5. Now, what the, uh, the difference is for iPads is, I will create a static LED is iPad equals UI device current user interface idiom equals to and now we will choose pad and our screen size max height is larger or equal and I will go back to my cheat sheet to 10 24 okay now I will just copy and paste all of the other uh, elements here because I already have them go ahead and find them in my github repository okay in all of this and one thing that I have noted that we need to add uh, to the screen size yep 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 what is the problem here let's just build this and see Oh, max length. Okay, I will just rename this to max length because it is uh, more descriptive. Max length, okay, and minimum length here. Okay, and finally for the iPad Pro. Okay, so now how to use this? So let's go back to the view controller and let's say if device type is iPhone X or iPhone 10 rather then print out this is now let's just build and run and see how this all lays out okay this is an iPhone 10 a good stuff now in the next video, we are going to use our screen size, uh, dot width and height to construct our main SK main um, menu SK scene. So, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more tutorials in our Advent Calendar series, go ahead and click on the subscribe button down below to subscribe and maybe hit the little bell too to get notified when new videos come out. Okay? Hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.